there, I'm Hugo from Tech Corner TV and today for you and sent by Anon Star for review, I have the brand new AD203 digital microscope. I have to confess that this review is for me kind of special since uh, channel milestone was achieved and let me explain better. Here on by my side I have my AD208 that I bought almost a year ago and was the first review I ever made. Some parts of that video were even used by Anon Star to show their product. So almost one year later I have here sent by Anon Star one of their new products that feels great and I want to thank you all for making this channel happen. But before going further about its technical specs, let's first see its feature highlights and what's on the box. Let's get to it. As usual, I will show you now uh, what comes in the box. Uh, it's delivery in this retail box. Not bad. Uh, it's resistant. It's not uh, very banged uh, from the travel. So inside we have a user manual. It comes in three different languages. I don't know if this is uh, Chinese traditional and sim simplified, but well, it's we have English. That's the the main point. The technical specifications in here, uh, some infographics showing uh, how it works and what the buttons are, and some instructions, and that's it. We have a frequent asked questions and basically it, that's it the rest is on Chinese inside the, the box we have a little uh, a bracelet to, to put on the handheld microscope we have a small micro USB cable to USB type A uh, for charging and for connecting to the PC it is also delivered with a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card and we have also the device itself. Uh, it has a quarter inch uh, screw to connect to, a, for example, a tripod or something like that, a photography tripod. We have here the light regulator. The camera has, I believe, eight LEDs, yeah, that are dimmable. We have the zoom in and zoom out control of focus also in here. The control buttons with power on, the multiple, the multifunction up and down keys. We have the OK selector and the menu, and this will change the screen. I will show you in a bit. The screen is 4 inches. It's a very nice screen. And we have here also, let me use this to open. Yeah. We have in here uh, two slots, one for the SD card and the other one for connecting the USB cable. We have a little orifice in here that I believe it, sh it should be to do a factory re uh, reset. Okay, that's it. Let me show you how this works. So I will start by showing you how this works. Uh, the first thing I will do is to put the, um, the SD card. Let's open this again. We have here the card that is provided. Let's insert in the slot, yeah, like this. 
and we close this cover. Okay, let me start the microscope. As you can see, it has a nice image. Uh, let me get the user manual so we have something to to focus. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have a good focus here. Okay. Let me start by showing you here the control of the light. It has a pretty nice control. You have also in here a, a hole that has a quarter inch screw or to on it to connect a, a, a tripod, a photography tripod, and that will be very cool. I will show you in a moment. And in the screen, we have here the power indicator, the SD card indicator, the current time, and also the date. This is the current time, sorry, this is not the current time, it's the, the time that you have to free to record on the SD card. This is the current timestamp. Uh, also, it says it is recording sounds, and I don't know this one. In here, we can see uh, if we are in camera modes. If we press once in M, we will change. It will change to photo mode. With other settings of the photo mode, we have in the SD card space for 2,100, 645 photos also the indicators, and if you press again, it will show you what's on the SD card. In this case, it's nothing is in the SD card, so yet. Um, if you press in here for a few seconds, in the middle, it will rotate the screen, okay? That will be very useful if you are using this uh, with a tripod and want to, to have this area clear. Uh, we can, let me just focus using this knob here, in here. Okay, let's put this again in normal mode. Yeah, it's focused. We can, using these keys, uh, zoom in. I believe this is the maximum. And also zoom out using this key. If you press uh, the M key, as I told you, you will change the mode, but you also enter, if you press for a long time, the setup menu. When entering the setup menu, you, you will have different options in here, if you are on photo mode or in video mode, that's the, the case right now. In video mode, you will have you have the options, for example, for select the resolution uh, of the video. Like right now, it's full HD. You have HD 1080p and 700p also in HD. We have in here also loop recording, the exposure, if you want to record audio or not. And if we if we, we want to to add a timestamp to the video, if you press M, you will have another menu that is more uh, system related, where you can choose the date and time, the language you have English, uh, French, uh, Deutsch, and I believe. Uh, well, some oriental language that I don't know whether they are. And you have also, uh, to, to, to change in here, you just need to press OK. It will go there. And you have also Italian, Spanish, I think this is Russian, and Portuguese. OK. Uh, so after the selection, you just press OK, and it will 
change again in here or pressing menu it will have the same effect the next one is the video frequency and you will have the option to format the sd card also do a default settings like a factory uh, default and you have the version and pressing m again you go to the uh, normal operation if we change this to photo and go again to the config part of the setup right now you will have the the option to select the the picture size when taking pictures if you want to do a sequence or not the quality it's fine right now the sharpness the white balance the iso and exposure and anti-shaking uh, it is on right now as before uh, no, you still have a quick review on the photo of two seconds or five seconds and also if you want a date stamp that's it uh, as before if you press again in m you will go to the system uh, menu okay and we are back to this to the normal uh, operation to take a photo while well, in photo mode you just press ok uh, i took a photo without being focused let me focus here yeah let's take another photo yeah okay and if we want to record that's the photos i i took the first one it's out of focus the second one it's better and if we press again m we are in video mode to record video just press ok and we are recording as you can see we have the red light blinking and the time of the recording we are recording in full hd 1080p okay let's stop the recording with ok again and see what is the result we have here two point avi or dot avi let's press ok and see what we recorded i don't know i cannot hear sounds i believe the the speaker is very well it's not the best but uh, i will see on the screen after how we on the computer how we it turned out yes okay and we are recording as you can see we have the red light blinking and the time of the recording we are recording in full hd 1080p okay Let's okay i will show you now some usage uh, on electronics to see uh, how good this is
Cepeda, these microscopes turns out to have a very interesting versatility. You can either use it in your hand to analyze components, not limited by being attached to its base, or you can use its quarter inch socket to fix it. Once fixed, you can use its four inches display to analyze the contents, or you can connect it to a PC, like I did, to have a much bigger image with better quality. The price, as I told you, uh, it's around 70 euros or 80 dollars or even 60 pounds, and which is okay uh, considering the quality and the features it offers you. I can tell you, when I started this review, I didn't think that it will be so useful to electronics as it's shown to be. I thought it was more target for collectors, but after this review I changed my opinion a bit. To finish, if this video was useful to you in any way, don't forget to like and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I have a new video. That's it for today, stay safe and we'll meet again in my next video. Cheers!